President Bola Ahmed Tinibu has been exposed. It has been alleged that he has said that he would not hand over power if the tribunal sacks him from office as the president. He also was talking about a rerun. If there is no rerun, he will not hand over power. We should recall that the senator representing Kaduna Central, Senatorial Dick Street, and the chairman of the Senate Committee on Foreign and Local Debts, Senator Shehu Sani, has asked all stakeholders of the All Progressive Congress APC to support the efforts of Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinibu to reconcile aggrieved party members across the country, saying it will be a tragedy if he fails in his assignment. Senator Sani told newsmen while on a visit to the All Progressive Congress National Secretariat that the announcement of Bola Metinibu led committee actually put on hold planned planned mass defection by aggrieved members of the party as a result of lingering and unresolved crisis in some states while saying that Bola Metinibu stands the best chance to reconcile members of the party he said members of the national assembly governors and the party leaders are not in any position to reconcile aggrieved members of the party because they are party to the problem while there is absolute no regard for the party leadership by those holding executive positions. He further lamented the absence of party supremacy in the country, saying there is no supremacy of the party because people holding position of executive power thinks that the party should be under them and not them being below the party. This is where the crisis starts. Sunny who has been locked in a battle with Kaduna State Governor Malam Nasi El Rufai for nearly two years, said that President must come out now to let the world know if he was interested in seeking re-election in the overall interest of the country. He said, we are confident that his intervention could most, most likely address the fundamental issues that are facing the party at both the national and at the state level. It is no more news that the All Progressive Congress is faced with crisis in some states where it holds sway as a party and this crisis defiled solutions for over two years and efforts that we have made in the past has not been able to address the problems. Nobody could have solved this problem other than President Muhammadu Buhari, ex-president himself, through Asiwaju Bola Metinibu, the current president. The governors cannot solve the problems of the All Progressive Congress because they are party to the crisis. The All Progressive Congress Senators and members of the House of Representatives cannot solve the problem because they are party to the problem themselves. The party at the national level cannot solve the problem because there is disrespect and disregard for the leadership of the party in the last two years. The very fact that the party itself has been inhibited with lack of funds and other challenges made it impossible for the party to bring order what is happening. What we need to understand very clearly is that crisis within a ruling party is not new and not strange. Each time you have a group of people who organize themselves and take over political power, you are bound to have internal crisis 
within the party. It is so in the National Liberation Front in Algeria. It is also so with the African National Congress. It is so in any political party you can think of in history that has taken over power. The All Progressive Congress crisis started early, earlier and hopefully it will be healed in order to prevent it from inflicting some damages that could affect the fortunes of the party. Sani expressed concern that a party that came to power with so much goodwill and hope has suddenly found itself in what he described as a civil war, with itself saying right now, the All Progressive Congress is both the government and the opposition because most of the criticisms and oppositions that is going on in the country is within the All Progressive Congress itself. He said one tragedy that usually, usually became the symptoms that extinguishes a political party is the absence of eternal democracy. Saying, you can see the supremacy of the party in South Africa and in Ethiopia, but in Nigeria, there is no supremacy of the party because people holding positions of executive power think that the party should be under them and not being below the party. This is where the crisis starts. According to him, once a group of people within a party sees others as strangers within the party, then the receipt of cri for crisis has been set. What, needs to what we need to understand is the very fact that the People's Democratic Party was not destroyed from the outside but from the inside. It is the element within the People's Democratic Party that we are marginalized and oppressed that became the final nail on the coffin of her party, he said. If the All Progressive Party Congress must learn, and must learn anything, it must learn from the history and believe that some of the people who left the People's Democratic Party to join in this measure should not come with that bug and bacteria because those fundamental issues need to be addressed if all party members are not interested and are not treated equally and fairly. Certainly, there will be problems. We believe that Asiwaji can do a lot of reconciliation and we hope that he will be able to achieve a lot because of because if a siwaju fails it is going to be doomed for the party when you see people fighting within the party it is because they want to remain in the party if they don't want to remain in the party and within the party they will simply and they will simply walk away from the party so we are saying in the 21st century in nigeria there are those of us in the progressive congress that will not accept any governor going into a room to write the list of his own concubines friends his errand boys and guides and send them as executives 